Okay, I think everything's squared away. Yes, it is. Okay. Hi, hello, welcome. It is the Satyr of Days. Sounds. Well, I listen to something. Whoops. Didn't need to do it again. I meant to come back to you guys and give you guys volume back because uh, you gotta need volume in order to enjoy background things and background and down to down. I'm just kind of waiting for half a minute just to let people, folks roll in that are... Well, actually, no, like a notification it takes like five minutes for Twitch to say, hey, this person's live if it's even on their feed. So I'm going to wait just a little bit. I will wait just a minute or two here, wait for folks to slowly roll in. What was I doing on this screen? Hmm. Click a couple options and away they go. Sorry, I'm currently just reading. Reading some posts. All right. Nah, don't lie to me. He hasn't gone offline. Let's see. Okay, I just had to see what was going on in the, in the world Twitch for now, but I think I'm gonna stop goofing around. I think I'll actually go ahead and actually start playing the game. So welcome friends to Tetris 99. Okay, if I actually put it up on screen, you could eyes to see what's going on, hey? Eh? Because I'm smart. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise, I am actually smart. Sitting here for, what was it, four minutes now? Nothing on screen? Yeah, this is fine. Browsing the internet. I may have a problem. Oh god, it has been forever since I played Tetris. Uh, since I played Tetris 99, I'm kind of ready to get my butt kicked. Uh, I don't want that one first off. 
Also, it's been forever since I played Tetris 99 with... It's been forever since I played Tetris 99 with a real controller, quote-unquote. Like, last time I played Tetris 99, I decided, hey, let's have a meme and let me play it with the uh, SNES... Let me play Tetris 99 with the SNES... Uh, uh, oops. The Nintendo Online SNES controller. Why was it so hard to get out? And I am already messing it up. Bruh? <laughs> You would never think I've gotten two two te uh, victories in te in Tetris 99 with the sloppy play I'm putting on display at this moment. Hold on, we're gonna make a mis we're gonna make several mistakes here trying to correct one mistake I made five minutes ago. There, I fixed the mistake I made like se like 70 moves ago. Now I can get back on top of my game. Then go back to random. As I proceed to mess up a very easy move. Good going, me. Nice job, me. Configulations, me. Alright, need to clear out some stuff. I'm just gonna do some house cleaning here really quick. I'm not gonna attack anybody. This presents a problem. That's... Spot the person that hasn't played Tetris 99 in several weeks. Give you a hint, you're looking at him. Hell, at this point, I almost want to say it's several months. I'm playing this more akin to Puyo than I am Tetris, which is bad because I'm not good at Puyo. And yet, here we are. All right, it's a bop. Don't worry, I have some. I have some semblance of a plan here. You just got to give me a minute to prep to prep it. Oh, I'm being attacked by several people. Never mind. I need to go on, on the attacker phase. Hello, Shade. I will very closely read your message in just a moment. I am in mostly high energy Tetrising at the moment. Could you get that out of my face? Remove it from my space.
Also, a lot of times when I play Tetris 99 on stream, I, I don't know. I feel like when I play Tetris 99 on stream now, I feel, or I feel like I get, I kind of get into this absent-minded nature. That's dangerous because as time has gone along, I become more like knowledgeable of worldly events. And people don't want to come to the stream to watch people ramble on about what's going on in the world, but I have a feeling that like at some point during the stream here, I'm gonna just start rambling about what's going on in the world instead of Tetris stuff. Uh, I can't do it while I want. Oh, well, somebody held, held an L. I'm gonna hold that L if I'm not careful. How did I get the top 10 with this garbage? Oh, shoot. Ah, there it goes. All right. Uh, that's kind of where I am. I mean, I missed out on it. There was a sale here at one point. There was a sale here recently on this game where it was like 40 bucks and I thought about getting it then, but this was before the uh, US stimulus package went into effect and right after my I had to basically rebuild the front end of my car. So I wasn't very... I, my money wasn't very open, we'll say. But I will tell you right now that if that sale happens again, I may consider doing it just because... To give me other things to do exercise-wise other than just running on this elliptical that's hiding behind this green screen back here. Also, I may have done a little bit of Dragalia things, auto-battling with it mainly before the stream started or while I was waiting for folks to roll in, so forgive me for looking at my phone. Like, here's what I will say. Like, the game, it's probably a good game. It's probably a very good game, uh, Ring Fit Adventure. Game-wise, well, game, well, I would say fitness-wise it's probably better, but, like, game-wise, it's probably bare bones so yeah oh you loaded up Dragalia like for the first time ever or did you retire from it for a little bit regardless the gala is going on right now so any pulls you have saved up would probably be best used on that at the moment Pardon me. Put it back on random. Wrong shape. And once again, no disrespect to you, Shay, but I will be—I'll be able to read your comment more, more, more diligently if you give me just a minute to get out of my a little. Oh, once I get out of my Tetris zone. Somebody wants me dead. 
and they can have they can have my soul over my dead body as I proceed to hit them with these Puyo combos. That's cute. Sit down. Come on, hit me with the tower of power. You know you want to. Come on, hit me. I love this song. I don't know what song this is, but I haven't heard I haven't heard anything from the, the Ring Fit, but I love this song. Just that whistle that kicks in when it first starts up is awesome. Get it out of my house. Out of my house, I said. Okay, can we go back to random for a little bit? Nope, we have to go back we have to go back on the defense. Alright, I gotta do a little clean up here. I'm get I'm getting a little high up on the screen. Actually I put this here, drop that there, and now we're back to now we're back to where we need to be. In a place of happiness. Never mind somebody decided that I need to die today. Here it comes. And watch me get rid of it. Actually, wait, if I do it like this, there we go. I've never thought of like actually doing that move of like putting the T in such a way where it clears out lines that don't block it up for so I never have done that until I've watched other people play this game and it's like, oh wait, you can do that and make a clean line? Bet. So then I started doing it. Get that out of my kitchen. That does not that does not spark joy. It does not bring happiness. Remove it from my life. Uh, I could use an orange piece, please. Or a lime piece. That works too. Okay, I need to do this and start cleaning out pieces this way. Uh wow. Just the right combination to make me upset. Alright, we're building up the speed. Oh yeah, like that. Okay, we're gonna need to get you out of my house. You, this, you see this abode right here? You're in it. Where do you think you should be? Out of it, correct. Ah, uh, it's gonna block it up, oh well. Welcome to, welcome to, welcome to the only thing Scooter can remotely talk, talk trash in competitive wise, Tetris 99. Actually, wait, if I do like this. Mm. 
My brain short circuiting. Hold on. Oh, well, that was a bad move. Now I need a line piece to dig me out, and that's not going to help me at all. Ah, I didn't get bailed out. Okay. Hello, hello, Luigi Mario. <sighs> Alright, I actually load up to in a, in, in a very long time, I had so much stuff. I got the Mars Dragon, good. But I still have 10 pull tickets left, and I don't know if I should save them for or use them now, because I don't know how to do that with do that in that game. I don't care what's good either, and I have so little things, I probably don't have any... I don't know how to play with viewers. Right now, I'm just playing the ring fit mode. Trying to get that going and probably playing that for a while. Okay. So, from what's available banner-wise right now in Dragalia. I would say... I'm going to guess you have, like... Because you said you haven't played in a while, but I know you played at one point. I'm going to guess you have, like, 13 5-stars. And maybe later Luigi Mario. Right now I'm just going to play the uh, Ring Fit mode. The Ring Fit crossover event, I should say, rather. Um, But yeah, I'm going to guess you have like 13 5 stars. Um, Everybody but Alphonse in the Fire Emblem rotation is busted. And every Gala Adventurer minus Ranzel is... Ranges from above good... To absolutely destroys the game. No, I'm gonna check. Now I'm gonna look, pull, pull up my phone really quick here just to follow up on this conversation some more. Because I think showcase info in the gala. Okay, this gala runs pretty long. It runs till the thirtieth. Well, at least till, it runs till the end of the month. Okay, so. Marth is good. Marth is decent. But if you don't have any Gala heroes, I would say maybe roll some more on the Gala. Especially trying to get more Shadow. Uh, as much as you probably don't want to have to bench Veronica, trying to get Gala Cleo and or Gala Alex. Because those two are so good that regardless of what event... Yes, you can. Um, what it is right now is just that the appearance rate of Gallimars is just is just increased more than the other Galley units, but the other Galley units are available. Something fell behind me. I'm going to go see what it was. Marth is good. I will tell you, Shade. Marth is really good. Marth is still really good. Like, of melee units, Marth is probably the best melee unit. But there is still Cer Gala Cerise, or I guess Cerise in general, who is still a really good fire unit. But even then, there's a bunch of adventurers like Xania. I think. Xania and even Yudin. Who are comparable or better than than uh, than Marth? So, you have options. Hey, that's fine. Cause like I said, here, like I said, here. Um, let me pull it up. I can hook up my phone, but I'm just gonna put my screen in the corner over here. So, 
Let me look here. So, this is probably not the best example of this right now, but of those adventures you see there, guess how many of them are five stars? I know it's really blurry, but try and work with me. Don't know? Okay. So the one on the, the one on screen right here and the one on my thumb screen left. Well, by the way, the one on screen left, that's a uh, Rathalos Berserker. But those two are five stars. The one second from the right, that's Halloween Lowen. Currently one of the best healers in the game. He is a four star. And then you have Xania, who is the one I haven't pointed out yet. The third spot there. She's a three star. And she's currently meta for fire. So it's not bad that you pull duplicate heroes because hey, guess what happens? You get you get to spend all that extra eld water you get from that on upgrading adventurers who are normally four and three star to be five star and beyond and break things. Anyway, I'm gonna start playing again. So Dragalia is kind of in this weird sense where like, yes, the five stars generally are broken. Uh, it, for the most part, the five stars, yes, are broken. But they've given these, they've given mana spirals to certain adventurers that make them obtainable by, that are probably in everybody's uh, bank of heroes that are just as broken. Uh, just about every dragon is good in some regard. Well, five-star dragons, I should say, are good in just about every regard. <laughs> like, there's merits to every kind of dragon, and getting all the five-star dragons will take time. So you can't just, like, rush and get perfection. Like, the dragons I have, it took me... Like, my luck with dragons is... Stupid, to say the least. But even with that even with that knowledge, like... It still took me forever to get 5-star dragons on most of my teams. Playing every single day, basically. And even then, I don't have 5... I don't have a 5-star dragon on every, on every single team on every single team member. There's a couple teams I have where... There's a couple teams I have where the, uh... Oh shoot, no, no, no. I'm gonna be out right away, aren't I? Yep, dang it. Well, that's my bad. Like, let's see. I think my win team actually is probably the one that I think is probably the worst defender of this right now. Yeah, on my wind team, I still have I still have rock, which is a four star wind dragon, but that's because that dragon is stupid powerful. Keep in mind, I've spent all of the resources I've gotten, and rolled and gotten lucky on a lot of the dragon stuff, but the fact I'm still using a four star dragon is should speak kind of volumes of should speak some kind of volumes that hey. I, uh, I'm a little, this, this four-star dragon might be better than most five stars. Uh-oh. But even then, I think what it kind of does still boil down to in the game is playing, picking what you like. Picking what you like adventure-wise, to a degree, and still just, and still just playing, playing with them regardless. Like, like is on record. I will forgive me for using to uh, toxic community phrasing, but I will, I will probably until the game forces my hand. Otherwise, I will probably stand Johanna. 
a three-star wind adventure who has not gotten any up, who has not gotten any help in the game. But I like, but that is, but she is probably my favorite character in the game, just because she is, you know, she is me, she is me levels of unga bunga of, of I have big stick, I like to swing big stick. Don't don't compliment me. I'm a I'm a little, I'm a little bashful about be, uh, accepting compliments. Stop. Whoop. Well, guess who wasn't paying attention for half a second? Actually, I can do this. And then do that. I put that in the wrong spot. It's okay, it's fixable. At least I hope it's fixable. Oh sure now you all show up when I don't when I need you less. Yeah, I've never brought it for that one. Dang it. Yeah, you do still kinda need some good units, but for the most part, just kinda use what you like. Also, I really, I really just got bullied by the pieces when I needed anything but. It's like, I don't need these pieces. Okay, let me set it down. Oh, hey, here's your pieces you need. Mother hover. Well, these pieces don't work here. That's fine. You can have the pieces you need and five more pieces. Also, I have my notepad here because we're going to be, we're going to be jumping around doing various things today on stream. And I don't know how long I'll be streaming today. I've been having a lot of good energy. I've been having a lot of good energy lately. Like for the first time in probably three weeks, I think I've actually mentally been able to feel like myself in terms of wanting to record things. I think this has been like, I think this week has been the first week in a long time where without setting up appointments with other people and just having my own commitments to keep me to do things, that I actually sat down and uh, like I actually, I actually sat that I actually sat down and recorded. I think I recorded like I want to say 14 hours worth of gameplay this week. I haven't edited a lick of it, but I actually recorded for 18 hours, which is a lot considering before this week. I think I've other than stuff with friends. I don't think I've recorded anything. Period. So like, we might go longer in the stream today because I've actually been feeling like myself again. For a, for like the first time in a long time. What was that whole that whole conversation just be, me saying that hey maybe we'll go for a longer stream for the first time forever because I actually feel like I can do things other than mope. I don't know if I want to call it. I don't know if I want to outright say I've I was in a depressive state because I've never really had depression at least as far as I know. But 
we can chalk it up to that and just all smile at each other awkwardly while I while I'm probably wrong about self-diagnosing myself with something I don't have. Help, Scooter's saying words and he, and he thinks he's offending somebody by saying it. Yeah, welcome to 2020. You're if you're not offending someone, you're not doing it right. This man's really just pushed me to the ropes. Damn, back at it again at the Krispy Kreme, I see. Uh, well, I don't want to plug it up, but I need to put something in here. God, this song is a is a this this song slaps. I'm gonna have to look it up after this. Okay, I got the I got the plays. I'm gonna make a minor pally. I'm gonna mess up my minor pally. Man, we got people out for blood in, in this arena. Holy cow. This is not going to end well. Ooh, almost messed that up. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, I just screwed myself, dang it. Uh, I think the second one starts next week on the 27th. At least I think that's when it starts. Let me let me go look it up here while we've got like a moment of time. Maybe if I use the right words. Lost. Part two. Okay, let's go to the top of the news page. So, more. Huh. I read something on the uh, start of the thing. Okay, yeah, so there's a new event that will be starting on the 29th. Which I don't know exactly when that when that correlates to what time of day on the 29th. Again, time zones because you're off in 
Kangaroo Land. Forget, forgive me for being rude, but <laughs> they say the 29th, but that could be, that could be, like, 11 p.m. Pacific time on the 29th, meaning it really starts for most people on the 30th. But then if I can, like, math prep a minute, that would be, like, 7 a or 7 p.m. on the 29th for you? Maybe it's 6 p.m.? Something like that. Huh. I accidentally put down a piece. Keep in mind, I have no idea where you live out in Australia. I'm just spitballing time zones. I could be completely wrong. My brain went to Dragalia, so now I'm short-circuiting on how to puzzle. And what you're seeing right, now, right here, right now, is a classic example of why Scooter is bad at Puzzles and Dragons. Because he starts playing the game good, and then he starts letting his mind wander, and then five minutes later, he's dead. I shouldn't have done that. I should not have done anything I just did in the last few seconds. Also, I don't know if it's just, like, the fact of where I am right now in my playstyle, but it seems like today I'm, I'm playing a lot towards the top of the screen, unintentionally bullying people. Guys, the truth come out. Scooter is bully. Shocking no one. Uh, I think the Gala actually goes until the end of the Fire Emblem event. At least that's what somebody in another server was telling me. Hmm, this track. This track, though. Um, I could tell you, if you let me pull up my phone once again after I get done getting bodied, I can pull up my phone again and tell you exactly when the Gala ends. But if you want to look it up, uh, go to the gala page, the gala or the gala summoning page, and look at event information, and then that will have a, uh, and that should have some dates on there that should say like from whenever it all started until when and until X amount of time. It will also probably adjust for your time zone as well, or at least provide a, or at least say like via PS. PDT time standards. I have to remember, America is not the not the only place in the world. We we actually I should be saying Pacific District Time instead of Pacific Pacific Standard Time. Started singing with the song, started doing terrible. Look at that. By the way, singing with the song. 
He says singing with the song when really he's just whistling and blowing out everybody's speakers because whistling in front of a microphone is a bad idea. Here's, there's your, uh, there's your mic microphone etiquette tip for today. Don't whistle. Everybody will be upset. Unless you have, like, a really good microphone. All right, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play it stupid. I'm gonna play it really stupid. Apparently, help. This could be the nail. Unless they pull an amazing comeback out out of my butt here, this could be the nail in the coffin. Uh. I need that line piece. Would you believe me if I told you I've gotten to like level 32 on uh, Tetris DS? Then again, I'm not fighting against other people. I'm, in t you're not fighting against other people on Tetris DS. You're really playing your own game by yourself. I don't like this song. This beat drop does not mesh. This this beat drop does not bring me spark. Does not spark joy. Get over there. Oh, I got pushed way off. Okay. Okay. So let me go look it up myself now that I'm done getting bodied. Oh, sixth place. Nice. So showcase info on the gala. The showcase, it ends at 12.59. A oh, no. It does adjust for your time zone. Because 1 a.m. 1 a.m. my time is when everything cycles out for Dragalia. And Pacific time, that's 11 p.m. So the clock, so what it reads out on the clock there does adjust for your time zone. So like, so it looks like Fire Emblem Part 2 is going to start when the Gala Banner ends. And the Gala Banner is going to end... Well, for lack of a better term, Wednesday night, effectively. What I will tell you is, if you got the dragon, cool. But for further, but for further Dragalia stuff, but for like further, but for, don't try and get five of of Mars to get to max unbind him. Or don't get four more Mars to max on buying them. Just use Sunstones unless you get lucky trying to roll for other things. We might know more information about the characters. What what can be what I'm assuming is because they did say Sharina's coming, so Sharina's probably going to be the free unit for Fire Emblem Part Two. But there's going to be three other units that we don't know anything about yet. Like, I can't remember if Lucky was live last night when he was when we were talking about this, or if this was after after he got done streaming. Like I said before, I have the memory of a goldfish. Uh, crap. But the desire, the want would be you know Fire Emblem stables like Lynn, Hector, and maybe Air to tie it in, to keep it tied into uh, Fire Emblem Heroes. What will what may happen is it will probably be air. Uh, I'm gonna say Alm randomly. Air Alm and then whoever the fair, what the what the fair, whatever the headline fairy character is, fake character is from uh, book four or book yeah book four. 
But in my head, what I do know is probably going to be something like Leviathan or Lajeren or however you say their names. Hellbindi and Air. That's the realist side of it. That's the I know we're not going to get anything good out of part two. So why do I hold out hope? Hope do be riding alone. Mm, yeah. And you might be saying, but why do you say Hellbindi? Nobody likes Hellbindi. Name somebody who likes Hellbindi, who plays Fire Emblem Heroes right now. Name one. And then I will slap you and say, stop lying to me and try again. I might need to acquire this song. It's it's really just a bop. Man, I should actually. Okay, I'm not trying to flex on people, but I, I, I this is just where my mind goes whenever I play Tetris 99 on stream. Like, um, excuse me. I got my mouth got really dry on me. I've been I haven't been spending a lot of money on frivolous things. I've I've bought like myself a game. I bought myself a game or two in the past six or not six like three months. So I've been really holding on to my money. But I've been thinking. But I've been holding myself a windfall of money. So like I've got some spare money. I should like maybe get we or we fit. I call it we fit. Wow. Maybe I should pick up Ring Fit just to, again, change up my workout routine. And, yeah, change up my my work my actual workout routine. And actually, you know, get some definition in places other than my legs. Because right now I'm, because right now I think I'm dangerously, danger, getting, uh, oh god, I am, I am gassy right now. I think I'm getting dangerously close to crushing watermelon with my legs, but I'd be lucky if I'd be able to pick. I'd be lucky if I'd be able to pick up a bag of, of uh, concrete mix right now. If that is any indication as to what I've been focusing on, <laughs> we're all leg day in this house. Oh wow, that's a lot of tokens. Hell yeah! Ah uh hey! -huh. Shoutouts to K man. Shouts to K-Man Rules 333, aka, aka lead physics developer for for scavengers, scavengers, however however you want to, however you want to say it. Actually, I don't know I don't know what his title is uh, is on the uh, the scavengers team. All I know is he's a he's part of a large group of people who left 343 Productions to make to make uh, scavengers. Anybody that's any wise to anybody who's wise to industry talk, I said the industry uh, 343 productions or industries. It's like, hey, wait, aren't those the people that make current Halo games? Yep. They all kind of just went, hey, we kind of want to do our own game thing, and that's exactly what they did.
This is gonna get dicey really fast, especially if I do that. I'm dead. Accept my fate. Um, oh hey, I got I unlocked the theme. Yay. Um So in terms of other gala units, every time yeah, like they run galas all the time and they have and like with the uh, like with Mars is right now, they'll have a featured unit on the gala, but every previous gala unit will be on the rotation. But as soon as the gala ends, th those units are no longer available. So basically, it's like, I guess that's kind of like the le Fire Emblem. It's like the Fire Emblem Heroes uh, Legends banners, except of, except instead of being certain legendary units are available, all of them are available. But this one in particular is at a higher rate. Anyway, I'm gonna keep playing. I'm gonna keep playing this. I have I have fun just sitting and chatting. Like t like I do have I know I am having moments of just nothing coming out of my mouth while I'm playing. But I do enjoy playing Tetris 99 a lot because it just lets me. Speak matter-of-factly. Yeah, uh, Gala Banners come out... I think they, they might be speeding it up now because they're going to start... Because it sounds like they might start be doing dragons now instead of just adventurers. But Gala units are probably going to start coming out... Or Gala Banners come out about once every fiscal quarter. So... Uh, mid, midway through January, midway through April, midway through, I can't, months, July, and then midway through October, and repeat as such. You know, I started talking finances, and I started doing terrible. Hey, let me handle your money. Don't. Don't let me touch your money. I I will spend it on dumb things. What the hell do you have there? Smoothie? That's exactly what that would be if I started handling someone's finances. That exact moment from, was it Sweet Life or iCarly? Either way, I haven't watched the show, so I couldn't tell you what it actually is from. I will say, speaking of things about Sweet Life, it's always funny to see when somebody, like, it clicks over in their head when they figure out, wait, there are people behind voices in video games? Like, you can always tell when that clicks over in somebody's head or in their life, because they will not mention it at all, and then all of a sudden they'll go, wait, so-and-so from this show I watched as a kid is the voice, is the voice of... So and so I watched uh, that is from this uh, that is from this kid I watched uh, show as I watched the kid is the voice of this character from one of my, who was my who was my favorite video game. No way, that's awesome! I I screwed this up magnanimously. Here I go. Cause I bring that specifically because uh, Dylan Sprouse is the is the voice of Sora. Uh, Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, Farf. Also, hi, Farf. Hey, Farf, I gotta look up something here, but, uh... I'm gonna need to... 
Well, here's the first thing about my farm because I, I want to bring up because I need to... I've been wanting to tell you, but I don't want to present it in such a way where it makes me sound like a jerk or not a moment that's just not like a quick fleeting thing that won't return rears ugly head back up to remind me, oh yeah, you Scooter, you were an idiot. Farf, if you don't have it yet, please pick up Trials of Mana. It's really good. Like really, really good. <laughs> Okay, good. I feel better about about presenting in this light. Also, the other thing I want to mention, I need to get you a date, but it's going to involve keeping your eyes on my on my uh, Yalta channel. I don't know if you watch the stuff. I, no, 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 fr no hard vibes. If you don't watch the stuff, uh, what I put up on YouTube, I understand. Not everybody can watch everything, but I'm going to have to give you a date for something. In 2020, knowing knowing your history, acting like you would never pick up us pick up a mana game. What bizarre land have I walked into? Uh, I'm out. Uh, hip, hop a hip, hip hop a hip. Okay, so it's not for several weeks yet, but I'm going to tell you, uh, the 15th, 15th, just pay attention to the 15th, that's all I'm going to say. Anyway, let's go again. But yeah, I've been like, there's a couple servers I'm in with kids that are, well, I say kids, now adults that are five to ten young, years younger than me who would have watched Sweet Life of Zack and Cody and iCarly. They're they're currently finding out that Dylan Sprouse, one of the two twin, one of the two twins on Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, voices Sora. They're they're like finally realizing it's just like, and you have officially hit that age where you where you've learned, hey. People are real. You are real. You are hit that age where people are behind the voices of things you love. This is going to be fun to watch you blossom. And especially now when we've got like, when now, like now in today's day and age when everybody who does, who voices stuff, who does voice work, like they've got their own, they've got their own Twitters and whatnot. So they'll like, once they uh once the embargo period lifts they'll be like oh yeah i i voice this character in this thing you can find my voice at, at this specific location like they will tell you what things they've done within a moment uh no get down there get down there get down there get down there I love doing that, by the way. Just the, oh, you're going to bully me? Oh, come as close as you like, then. I, that, I don't know why. I'm so, I'm, I feel like I'm, I have, I don't know if it's so, being a sociopath or what, but I, I just love doing that in this game. Just, come on. You know you want to, you know you want to bully me. Come on. Ah, counter bully. Confirm, Scooter is a bully. Wow, Mr. Streamer, I can't believe you're this much of a bully. Yes, I am a bio villain indeed.
Okay, get that away from me. I said get that away from me. Listen, I'm sitting here saying what I'm saying and I'm going, no one's going to believe you're a villain at all, at all, Scooter. Your general di disposition does not lead people to think you're going to bully them. Alright, whatever. We're just going to start throwing out combos now. Oh, I blew up another one. You're going to get that out of my kitchen. Because, like, here I go toting my own ego, but even I know for a fact that, like, I'm too... I know that I'm too, like, not aloof. Aloof's not the word. Like, mentally... Mentally oblivious to most social cues and what and everything that I could never like actually be malicious towards people Or I should say like Actively malicious like I will not go out of my way to be mean to somebody Oh this this Duke boy just got himself in a world of world of situations here. Hmm, making issues for myself. Ha ha. Ooh. Foul plays. It's okay. As long as I start clearing a few things out at a time, I can bounce back. I know it's going to become a problem later on if I don't take care of it now. Oh god, I didn't want this down here. get back on topic like that's why whenever I say something and I know it might even remotely make somebody upset it's like hey I don't I'm just dumb I could I, I apologize if I make you upset by what I say what I'm gonna say and then I'll say what I want what I'm gonna say anyway it's just like I don't know a better way to say this so I'm just gonna preface this with I'm stupid and I'm sorry Well, that's a problem. It's less of a problem now. We're not in top 10 yet, by the way. I just want to say that really quick because that should just say how high the stakes are right now. Although I am kind of low down on my on the totem pole of what's going on here. And here comes the boom. Oops.
There we go. Now we've hit the point. Okay, there we go. Combos. Combos. You know, it has been a long time since I've had combos. The little snack pretzel, little snack cracker slash pretzel things. Like, what weird combos have... Haha, <laughs> very funny. What weird combinations have they made with those things? Because I know when I used to eat them, when I was a slob... I'll say very bluntly, like I used to always eat like the pe the pretzel pizza ones, but I think at one point I saw like salted caram salted caramel and pretzel shells. I've seen some like dessert ones, uh, and I looked at them and go, "Ugh!" Like who would actively suggest subject themselves to this combination in a in the form of something that's meant to be like, in the form of what's meant to be like a snack chip. I want to say, I got to look this up, but I want to say like, they, that like a lot of, a lot of places have also, a lot of these have also been starting to do stuff like, um, like for what reason s'mores has also been finding itself in these a lot recently. So let's see. So the normal ones, pizza, pizza pretzel, pepperoni pizza cracker. These are normal. I will not I will not eat the buffalo blue cheese pretzel ones. The seven layer dip didn't interest me. The sweet and salty caramel pretzels, which is the ones I said are huh? Let's see. Limited edition ones. Honey sriracha. That might be okay. Considering spicy mustard spicy honey is delicious. Speaking of spice spicy honey, sp spicy honey mustard. Jalapeno cheddar, that sounds decent. Cheddar cheese bacon, barbecue, ba sweet barbecue baked cracker. What? Uh, that'd be a hit or a big miss. Okay, that, these ones, these discontinu discontinued ones start sounding disgusting. Bacon, egg, and cheese. Cheeseburger. Mustard. I like mustard, but no. Nacho cheese, that one actually I think was a standard one they discontinued. And then Zesty Salsa, which I have no idea what else this is. I hope you mean that as in they put ranch on their... <clears throat> excuse me. I hope you mean that as they put ranch and dip their Pop-Tarts into the ranch. I have a brother who does that with pizza. He Like no matter what toppings on pizza, he puts ranch on his pizza. But if you're talking like they actually made a ranch flavored pop tart, we're gonna have some dialogue options, and none, and you don't have the charisma for the top two, top two good path options. Oh right, I have to use the D-pad. Huh, I already forgot. Hmm, speaking of memes. A couple things speaking of memes. So has anybody seen that that it's it's become a saga at this point of of I can pull it up to show you guys in just a second here if you don't know what I'm talking about. It's become a saga of uh of Knuckles, the uh, Sonic Boom adaptation of for, for Knuckles sitting at a desk with a stamper. And I think it just started with I think it started with a very simple meme. <laughs> Approved. And it's and it's at this point like devolved into this effective story arc. Where one of the more recent ones that the guy has made has been Dr. Eggman has seized the memes of has seized the means of meme uh, certifications. Oh, I have several of them saved. Also, hi guy. I have several of those saved. I just haven't chosen the right service to strike with yet. I mean, nothing. You heard nothing. If anybody asks, you saw, heard, and smelled nothing. I 
I haven't saved one of the more recent ones. Or, well, the one I'm mentioning in specific. <laughs> and, like, people have kind of gotten a little out of hand with a couple of them. Like, one of them was a reference, to, was a JoJo reference, where the, the stamp timing was basically timed in, in beat to uh, Giorno, the Giorno's theme, or the one with the piano, or the Giorno's piano meme. You know the one. And another one was Five Nights at Freddy's. Just like it go, does the stamp, screen cuts to black. You hear the you hear the uh, you hear the coined the uh, bottled naff screen, as it were. Oh, it's gonna go sour fast. I I have waited too long. Never mind. I can save it. Boom. And then knuckles is suddenly purple. And he just goes approved, and it goes approved. Your ne your beam was approved, but why is Knuckles purple? Okay, I am. Oh, whoop, 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 Go back on random. Okay, we're on attackers now. Uh, but yeah, I'll pull up that in a little bit once again. But the other thing I wanted to mention is, that, like I said, it's become kind of meme worthy. Is it sounds like it got acquired through uh, not very, <clears throat> excuse me, not very well-received means but a beta build of pokemon Sil uh gold and silver has is out there and so we have beta designs floating about and people are just kind of losing their mind over it me like almost everybody is like oh gosh baby oh my gosh beta whooper because beta whooper is adorable Scrum me off row. Okay. Well, I'm going to do this now. We're going to go into my meme folder. See this? This is my meme folder. These are all my memes. I'm not going to pull it off screen because you guys don't don't get to acquire it. Well, except to look at Beta Whooper. Because this is Beta Whooper and it's a good lad. I don't know how loud my uh, media player is, so I apologize if things get too loud in a second here. Uh. Meme. Approved. So that one, starting off with. And then it just kind of went on. Meme. Look at you. You who were once so proud. Go now and never return. Your meme has been denied. Don't even bother trying again. And also, meme. these are just ones I've saved. There's like at least 20 at this point. I don't know. Your meme wasn't approved, but now that it was denied, guess he can't decide. I didn't save the one I, I mentioned a minute ago. Uh, what's this one? Meme. Knuckles can't prove your meme. And what was this meme. one? Meme. No. It's now illegal to use your meme. Your meme is illegal. Don't ever fucking try to use it again. 
I wish I could get the one that was of Eggman. Maybe I can go to the server I originally saw it on and get it and get it. Oh, here's one. How do I open? I guess I'll just save this one and then I'll delete it later. This may take me a minute to find it, but I will find this one because we're talking about this now. Okay, that's what we're going to watch in just a minute here. I'm trying to find it. Illegal. There it is. Found it. I'm going to download it. There. I have found the last two I was, I've been mentioning. And then we'll be done with this stupid meme review. Meme. Approved. Knuckles, you've gone mad with power. Oh, really? Well, would someone mad with power approve a law giving himself ultimate authority over memes? That's the dictionary definition of mad with power. No. No memes. Oh crap, all memes are bad for the internet. And the last Meme. one that I that I've mentioned a minute ago. Eggman is going to steal your memes with his Git Video Bot. It's kind of a great saga. Alright. So enough of memes. Let's uh, play a little more Tetris 99, eh? Oh. While I'm thinking of it randomly, uh, far back to trials of mana stuff. I'm gonna warn you. I'm gonna warn you. The only thing that there's only two things that I don't like about trials of mana so far. One, the pacing for the English voices is a little off, trying to match it with the Japanese mouth flaps. So it's like William Shatner esque. And uh, Charlotte is. Full on uwu. Like I selected Charlotte as my se as my second party member, and I regretted the decision as soon as she said, "Hello, my name's Charlotte." Did I say who I picked? I don't think I said who I picked. Uh, I went uh, Kevin, Charlotte, Re uh, Reese.
Well, that was fun. And now back to square one. Do you want to rethink your business proposal yet, folks? Your business proposal of bully? Okay, it looks like they did not want to rethink their business proposal of bully. I just remind them that I am the Great Leon. Bird, I am the Great Leon. I'm not actually. In fact, I don't think I'm even like legally allowed to say that line, considering I have not played much more than like an hour total of any Star Fox game. Well, no, I did beat. I did beat Command Mission. Regrettably. Okay, that's just something that just hit me full on in the face there. Just, I go toting about that I'm bad at strategy games and I hate playing strategy games. Yet, I think I think out of all the series that I ever play a spin-off of, that, like, I've never have touched, I end up picking the one that's, like, the most strategy-oriented. I played, like, a barely any amount. Like, I played Star, the original Star Fox, but that was in my youth, so I don't, I can't really count how many hours I've actually spent on that. But other than that, the other Star Fox game I play, I no, no, I played, I beat Adventures. Man, Star Fox is a really is real, really kind of circling the bowl, isn't it? As a series, oh good God, leave me alone, sir. This is Class A bullying. You will be hearing from from you'll be hearing from my therapist if you do not stop. I'm actually getting nothing to help me here. Wow. All right. Real challenge. Real challenge to this. Beat this using the ring fit. Or win, win a Tetris 99 using the ring fit. I don't think it's even possible. Oof. Good, excuse me. Oh, God. Um, there's something else I was going to mention. But, whoa. Accidentally. It's fine. Bouncing back. Listen, Mint Nintendo may not do that. But I can tell you who will do that. Those crazy sons of the guns who, who modded the ring fit to work... Who modded the ring fit... Who modded the ring fit to work with uh, Dark Souls. I'm not even saying this as a bit, like somebody legitimately modded modded a ring fit, a controls and everything, so that way they can use the ring fit to play Dark Souls. And he took video of it. I think he said he played like Dark Souls for a couple hours. What, what was his whole layout? 
it was to move you had to you had to jog and it, and he had it set up where like it can tell if you're it can tell if you're not actively moving while playing, cause so you actually have to keep your body moving while playing in order for you to do any commands like dodge rolls and everything. But like he ha he captured footage of himself playing, so like you know first first half hour not that bad. By hour by hour six, which God bless his soul for playing that game for six hours while while working out by hour six boy was boy's shirt was an entirely different shade he was really going through the paces he was shiny oh hey I got points We're gonna stop that. Said we're gonna stop that. I don't know who's attacking me, but they're about to learn a hard lesson, and they learned it. Hey, it's the good music! God, I. I now really want to get this game just for the music alone, not just for the workout. Is it bad that I want to get a game about doing workout routines, not to make my workout routine, my morning workout routine better, but because, <laughs> but because I want to hear the soundtrack. I was telling the story earlier for most people who are here now came in. Shade heard the story, so sorry, Shade, for repeating a story. But like, Ring Fit went on went on sale like right when I hit a point where I had to basically throw all my money at very important adult things, so I couldn't spend it on games. So even though Ring Fit was like thirty dollars and I could have gotten it for thirty dollars, I couldn't buy it because if I buy it, if I bought it, I would have probably left myself high and dry. I'm out. I'm out. I probably left myself high and dry on bills. Well, I'll tell you what, it's probably, it probably is out of stock right now because so many people are home at, at home anyway and they need to find ways to, they need to find ways to work out while they're cooped up in quarantine. So why not make it a video game? Actually, before we get water, let me, uh, let me look up things. Let me see if I can just get, let me just see where, if I can get ring fit somewhere and for how, and for how much. Oh Christ. Well, Amazon's just selling it for $200. What the hell? Huh, it's sold out. Well, damn. At least at Best Buy it's sold out. So I guess the game's sold out. Oh well. That's my fault for not jumping out when I could. Anyway, I'm going to refill my water, my water here. So enjoy the dulcet tones of Tetris 99 while I'm gone for a minute.
Yeah, people really went. People really went out of their way to buy up Ring Fit and are now sitting on it. And are now either using it properly or are sitting on the game in their own home. Just, yeah. Also, that's another random thing. And Shade, uh, this is, this is pertains, this oddly enough pertains to you, Shade, because it's in your corner of the world. But I just want to say I'm really proud of the folks in Australia. Because, uh, this was a couple weeks ago, somebody, somebody who had hoarded hand sanitizer and toilet paper tried to return all of it to a, to a grocery store. And in the manager's own words on live television was like, so I just went and, and told him to get out of my store. I want to say the report came from like, I want to say the report came from Brisbane or Brisbane. I think it's Brisbane, but I don't know. I, it was a couple weeks ago and I can't, and I won't be able to pinpoint it right this minute. So really good on that particular, on that, so really good on that particular department manager for basically telling him, okay, you can piss off. You basically put everybody in a state of they can't function. Jesus Christ. Man really just came out swinging, didn't he? Oh, he T-spinned me, that's why. Hit me with that young T-spin. Oh God, he's T-spinning me. Guys, I'm getting T-spun. And I, and I don't know how to do it. At least not effectively. Uh, panic. Well, this is going to turn sour fast, isn't it? Mom, the gamer's bullying me. Yeah, this works. Listen, y'all came after me. I didn't do anything wrong, man. Ah, oh, shoot. Ah, oh, damn it. Well, good Valiant effort. I'm shopping with... <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, we've seen that, um, I've seen that sign at, uh, I haven't been able to go to Costco, but Costco is like the bulk foods area, and I, I apologize, I probably have told this story several times. Costco is one of the biggest bulk food selling places in the United States. And Costco's a base. Costco's that basically have a sign up. Let's put a sign up a week after people were panic buying, saying we will not be accepting returns on toilet paper, hand sanitizer, basically everything personal health relevant. Speaking of um. Trailer is out. Trailer is out, by the way, for people, for, um, for basically a, another revival of classic Looney Tunes. And, my god, it actually does, like, the humor in it does really feel like classic Looney Tunes humor. From what they show in the trailer, at least. Like, it's not like, it's not like Elmer Fudd... Uh, can never remember the I can't remember the cowboy's name right now. And Wiley Cody are just like the sole bad people of the Looney Tunes universe. Like they, the clip they showed is actually like Porky Pig having enough of Daffy's crap. Wow, I actually spun that in, guys. I'm becoming a good, I'm becoming a gamer. Yes, gaming, yes. Everyone stop praying for my grandfather. He's become too powerful. I fat fingered it. Wait for people to switch over to attacking. It's gonna happen. Here it is. I just sat on that for aeons. <laughs> oh, that's a good feeling. Now who's the bully? Um. But anyway, no, back to that. The uh, clip that I was, I'm, re I'm referring to is like, it's towards the end of the trailer. But it is just like, Daffy being a tur- being, well. You know, I, I'm i on stream. I can just say what I want. Daffy being a shit. And then Porky just going, Abidi that's it! And it proceeds to fade away from a soon-to-be-occurring chase scene. I don't know. I'm kind of... I'm kind of excited to see what happens from that show because it does it. Damn it, I did it again. It seems like it might become like a good spiritual successor to the original, the original old Merry Melodies Looney Tunes from back in the day. But I've also have just had this. All right, all right, start your trials, Farp. Have fun. But I'm waiting for like that to get panned or something to bad to happen with them. Or something to happen with it, where people, where it's just going to be written off as bad because of a like a joke didn't land properly, and now the writers are just going to be in hot water. All right, bully squads here. I hope you're ready. I hope you're ready.
All right, they're gonna try countermeasures. All right, I'm in. I'm getting red, so I'm gonna start countering. Hello, how'd it work? I don't think they're. I don't think they. I don't think it worked out for them. I think. I think they died. I don't know. Verdict might be out on that one. Get that out of my kitchen. This is the Christian kitchen. Get it out. I was I like dropped it and it's like wait why did why wasn't there an earth shattering kaboom and then I looked over and saw my goof No we're gonna stop that hey put that away I need to put this here. I didn't want to put that there, but I had to. I feel like I've been constantly at the top of the screen this entire match, and I don't like it. Okay, good. I got it over there. Man, they really wanted to pile the blues on me today. Then switch it over. That's fine. Uh, shoot. I guess we're going to bounce back like this then instead. Actually, we'll leave it like this and then drop that there. Wow. That was a, uh, that was a pushback. And now where I've started this next chain is not, I'm not going to like it, am I? Uh, Scooter, are you okay? You kind of just screwed the pooch with that one move.
Uh, get it out of there. And I'm out. Oh, was I number two? Damn it. I probably think that match lasted forever. Wait, I'm number three? Wait. Damn it. Okay, whatever. It was a good show. All right. We've achieved our goal. We've gotten the theme. We've even doubled the score need for the theme. Oh, I did a T-spin. I T-spin, you guys. I've, I've claimed both daily reward tickets. So let's see what else. Um, so I have this. I need more tickets to get the Splatoon theme. I could buy the Donkey Kong theme. I don't even know what that's like. Zelda theme. Mario theme. You know, I kind of want to get the Mario theme. Because this reminds me the most of playing Tetris DS. But let me look through my options. Elegant. Scary Castle. Paintsy. Galaxy. Yeah, I think I'm going to buy the Mario one. I bought the Zelda one. God damn it. Hey, Lamal, I'm an idiot. All right. I unlocked a fat tiger. Hold on, I might need that. Okay, I have a locked fat tiger icon. Well, hey, we had enough fun with this. Let's take a moment now. Let's switch up games, because I did promise at one point we would be switching up to Mario Maker 2, maybe making some courses, maybe playing some courses. I'm going to start making courses before I play them. So, let's see. Um, I gotta take a note of what...